the Quimbe are a pre-Columbian culture living in South America from 300 to 1550 CE. They were very well known for their incredible skills in very precise gold and metal work. Among the figurines discovered, some models actually resemble what some believe could be flying machines. The Quimbe airplanes are golden artifacts found in Colombia and made by the Quimbe civilization. What makes these airplane models so amazing is they are aerodynamically accurate. In 1994, German aeronautical engineers Peter Belting and Konrad Lovers created larger scale radio controlled models of these artifacts. They proved the designs fly with single propeller power and jet power. The astonishing reality of these artifacts sets in when one considers that mechanical flights had not been invented until 1903. How then could the pre-Columbians of 1000 BC understand the advanced concepts of aerodynamic lift and design? Modern researchers have mixed beliefs about the Quimbea civilization and their presumed knowledge of flight based on gold artifacts. There are arguments regarding this theory over the lack of building materials necessary to make flying machines hundreds of years ago, along with the absence of modern engines, and that landing strips for the golden flyers have not been discovered. It's entirely possible for artifacts to be moved around from place to place in the ancient world, especially if they fell victim to more dominant people. All the cultures migrated for survival over time. The artifacts do exist, and they might help clarify another interesting ancient phenomenon not too far from where the Quimbea once lived. Certain parts of the Nazca lines are believed by some researchers to resemble ancient runways. Quimbea golden artworks were often buried with the dead as tokens necessary for prosperity in the afterlife. Examining the cache of available artifacts, it becomes evident that Quimbea created artworks based on interpretations of real objects and people. The golden airplanes could be evidence of an ancient culture's knowledge of flight well before modern times, or they could represent an extinct species of insects. There is also an alternative concept to consider with artifacts such as the Golden Flyer, be it through cultural influence from an outside civilization. Today we find an intriguing phenomenon which takes place after a remote culture is visited for the first time with modern technology. Isolated tribes visited in both Africa and South America by airplanes have both demonstrated shifts in religious beliefs after the visit. One of the tribes welcomed the plane on its second visit with ceremonial fire, and statues constructed in the shape of airplanes. Tribes people even went so far as to land themselves along a runway path to greet the visitors. If remote cultures exhibit this sort of behaviour during the world's modern technological era, then likely the same concept has played out before. From this angle of thinking, theories then suggest the Quimbea may have been influenced by another ancient culture, or perhaps some sort of alien civilization. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.